I brought with me Equity One's game plan. <laughs> Equity One, Mike, you did a good job. You bought everything you could. You bought, you bought money for the land, and you got the titles. Congratulations. You bought the PR firm that was hassling people at the giant. You got money for the PR fan. Oh, and plenty of money for the, for the lobbyist, too. Plenty of money. The lobbyist did a good job. The one thing it couldn't buy was the support of the community, because it didn't deliver a plan that was consistent with the values of the community. They have to earn it, and they didn't give us a plan that was consistent with the value of the community. There was, there, there's misleading things in here. It promised us that it would be consistent with the, with the, uh, with the history of the, of, the, of, the, of the area and strengthen the sense of place. But what does it do? It destroys a library. It gives us 10-story buildings. It adds to the traffic. Citizens have a right to see what we're getting. You ought to give us the, max, the, the, the scale model we can look at. Two more things, and it'll be done in 10 seconds. The, the plan is bait and switch. Tell the Planning Commission and the Planning Board, if you're going to promise us staying consistent with the theme of the neighborhood, do it. Out goes the 10-story buildings and back in to the library. By the way, part of their theme, we want red ones, not green ones. Small is bad for their view. They want red, they want one. This is a monopoly at its worst. And I'll thank, give you Thank you, Mr. Lippman. We get the, we definitely understand what you're telling us. Uh, next speaker.